Good afternoon from Healthy Living with Oily Blessings. I'm here today. It's Wellness Wednesday and I decided the sun is shining here and it's a beautiful day. I needed some nice fresh oxygen and some vitamin D. So here I am. I've already exercised, done my walk, and I am just basking in the beauty of the sunshine. And so why am I doing that? I'm doing that because I need vitamin D. Do you know vitamin D is one of the best things to counteract many, many, many of the sicknesses that we um, endure today? And so I just want to make sure that I get some fresh vitamin D, not just a tablet vitamin D. Um, because tablet vitamin Ds are great and we need those. Um, even my doctor said, make sure you take your lots of vitamin D. And, and I was doing that anyways, because um, for those of us who have SAD during the winter, which is um, seasonal, um, anyways, it's a seasonal sun, it's sun, missing sunshine. And, uh, actually, our bodies um, go into a, a, it's a disorder that you actually, it's a real disorder, seasonal of. I can't remember what it's actually what the the word the I knew what it was, but suddenly I've just missed that word. Um, but it's a seasonal disorder because of lack of sunshine, and so that affects you mentally. Well, if something affects us mentally, guess what? It affects our body as well. And so when our body gets affected, then it, we slow down. And as we slow down, oh my gosh, then then we don't have energy to do anything. It affects our mood. Um, I get kind of cranky. Um, it is very depressing. And so this goes out to my friend Penny. Um, and she gets to be in Florida. And she has lots of sunshine down there. But here, you know, we get it now and then. And when we do get it, we have to enjoy it. So here I am sitting in my car. I have my sunroof open. And I have my coat on, but it's nice and warm in here. It's about 36 degrees and I'm going to go home and wash my car in a little bit. But I, you know, I just really wanted to say, make sure that as you're wearing your mask inside of all these buildings and around everybody, you take them off, get that oxygen, make sure you spend time getting fresh oxygen. Our bodies rely on good oxygenated blood. If our blood isn't oxygenated properly, we will get exhausted. We will get tired. Our immune system gets lower. And so there's two things. Now, so that's a third. Here's the third one. I want to tell you, make sure you drink your water. Now I have in my water, this is my workout water. Um, I refuse to drink Power Aid or Gator Aid because those are so high in sugar. So I had to come up with an alternative because I still need all of those things that help my body. I need um, muscle um, to be able to get my muscles to come back when you're exercising. You need something that you can um, ingest that helps to build and bring back some of the to rehydrate your muscles as you're working them and so I developed my own little concoction it is collagen which is a high protein so after I work out it before and after and during I work out I have my protein so pro, what does protein do it builds your muscles in addition to that, I have several different things inside of my water. I have my mineral essence. Mineral essence is very good for my brain. It helps my brain to think properly because I'm getting all the minerals my body needs. Um, the other thing that I have in here is called amino um, amino wise. And amino wise is especially for the muscles. And then I have calm in here. Calm again is magnesium because magnesium our bodies need that magnesium um, and potassium because potassium is what's in bananas and that's why they give you bananas when you um, go on a marathon. You have bananas and what? Pickle juice. Why? Because the pickle juice helps with cramping and it gives you that. I don't know what I, what it is in pickle juice. Um, I had some Charlie horses yesterday are cramping in the back of my legs because I did some extra long stretches. And so um, I was drinking my pickle juice, pretty crazy, but it works, <laughs> it works. I gotta tell you, it works. Um, and then I do put a little bit of um, salt in here. That's why I said this is for Penny because this has my sea salt, which she and her husband so graciously gathered for me. 
and shared with me. And so I have my little bit of sea salt that has extra minerals in it. Um, and it also has a little bit of vinegar in it, the um, um, Bragg's vinegar, because Bragg's vinegar um, has some great um, benefits to our bodies. And so I put that in there. And for me, I don't like sweet. And so if I put the, the vinegar in there, it gives me, so let's think, it has sweet from stevia, it has the salty, um, and then it has the vinegar. So I, I catch three taste buds, sweet, salty, and um, vinegar, um, sour. So those are my three taste buds at work. And so that is very refreshing for me to drink. Um, and it helps to build my body. It helps to build my energy. And so that's why I really appreciate that. It's just one of the great things um, that I like to try to do. I've noticed that when I drink my water properly, my skin does not get so dry. Our bodies need water. So what are the signs of hydration? Dehydration. Number one, we're tired. If you're tired in the afternoon, probably you need a drink of water. Go get a drink of water instead of that cup of coffee. Now I have my coffee too, but I make sure that when I'm drinking my coffee, I have, here's my Starbucks little, look, this is short. I, and I only drank a little bit just to get the taste. Um, I have coffee and I'll have water. Now I've been having to share my water with my cat because he's decided my water tastes better than his water. So now he has his own cup. Um, anyways, so water, so dehydration, first sign is exhaustion or tired. The next one is um, mental. It affects your brain. Only 2% dehydration causes you a mental slowdown. So if I want to stay sharp, I better drink my water. Okay, so that's two things. Number three is if you get extremely dehydrated, not extremely, but if you get dehydrated, I oftentimes when we're on the motorcycle in a very hot, hot day, we have to stop very often to drink water. I get nauseous and I didn't realize, but the nausea, I was thinking, you know, you kind of just think, well, or in your car, when you're driving in the car, the nausea is because you again are dehydrated. So those are our healthy living tips for today. I hope that you have enjoyed these and are enjoying these. I may be changing up my platform just a smidge. Um, and so I will be slowly moving uh, um, into healthy living with oily blessings dot wordpress dot com. And I'm doing that because some of my posts have been removed and with all the craziness that's going on in the world today, I think I need to find a new source. Now I have had this website for quite a while and I really love WordPress. They've been extremely beneficial um, at the current time. Um, it is free. So, you know, subscribe and then the, it will, the, the link will go directly to your email or your phone. If you subscribe, if you do that, that way you get, you don't miss the messages. Okay. So just for your own benefit, you can do that. Okay. And so today it's Wednesday. This is our wellness Wednesday over and out healthy living with oily blessings. Have a great day. Enjoy the sunshine. If you can have some today. Oh, breathe in that fresh air. Take it slow. What'll it do? It'll lower your immune, it'll lower your blood pressure. Just breathing deeply lowers your blood pressure. Mm -hmm. It does. All right, have a great day. Um, and remember, we must stand fast and pray for the USA. There's a lot of craziness going on in our world and I don't know what's happening, but God knows and he is in control and we need our minds and our bodies and our soul to stay strong. And so that's why so often I share hope, body, mind, and soul, not just body wise. We have to be interconnected because that's how God created us. God created us to be an entire being. 
body, mind, and soul, just like him, Holy Spirit, Father God, and Jesus Christ. Have a God-filled day. Enjoy. Bye.